What is going on everybody? Welcome to finally a tutorial on how to build the Texic 3 best XP farm. So what you're going to need first is to find a pirate ship. Now these may seem pretty hard to find however if you find a big ocean you have the best chance of actually being able to find one of these. So what I recommend doing to start with since now we can actually start the tutorial since it took me forever to find one. I mean, I literally teleported to an ocean monument down here and hoped I'd find one. But uh, I had trouble way up here. So yeah, let's look. So what we see is you got all this junk you have to remove. So what I recommend is either get a foot in steel, right? Or you're going to need two sticks. I don't even remember what they're called. But if you put two sticks in the crafting table, you get the thing you need to craft it. But yeah, all you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna burn all these because you don't really need it unless you want it. So we have pretty much destroyed all the blocks of this. Now we start the actual farm aspect, which is extremely, extremely straightforward. Okay, don't wanna break that. All right, so we have all our spawners. Now what I recommend is you get out the sponge which is very cheap let's pull it up real quick just so you can see how to craft it you just need a sponge two sticks and we get a sponge and some wool and a slime ball which you'll find like things that float in the sky and those will have little thingies i don't know it's right slime and you kill the slime you can make a slime ball or you get a slime ball so what you want to do with the sponge is you want to take out the water and you don't have to worry about this water filling back in it's really simple, really easy. I definitely recommend if you guys haven't seen, I have a little tips and trick video. Just to help you guys get a little bit more out of your Texic experience. So now that we have all this, what you're going to want to do is you get whatever block you want to use to build it. You go four blocks out, uh, four blocks out again, and four blocks out again. This is just how you're going to map out where the spawners are going to be. So, this is where you need to place a block. You need to place a block here, and you just start filling this in with blocks. And eventually you're going to take out all the, the support structures because you don't need them. It's just a little guide to help you visualize where all your walls are going to be. And what I recommend is when it gets nighttime, you don't want a bunch of mobs spawning on you, so you just take some torches and you just light up your spawners so you don't have any mobs coming to harm you. It's uh, actually extremely frustrating having all these mobs spawn because this farm is so efficient. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to need to go down a little bit lower, so we're just going to take out more water. Okay, and there we go, and there we go, alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go four blocks on this side again, there you go, and with this block there, and this, you want to go four out four blocks because that is the distance that mobs will spawn when they spawn from the spawner. So right, this is the distance of the farm. Now from this bottom spawner, you want to go one, two, three, four. And that is going to be the bottom of your platform. I am going to fill all this in, and I recommend you do the same. Also, you're going to want to go up four blocks from here. Hopefully this isn't a crappy tutorial, but I mean, this farm is so straightforward that I hope that <laughs> my crappy explanation will still help. Deliver the message of what you have to do. Okay, and we almost have it done. There you go. That's one side. That's the height. You're going to want to put your roof right there. One block higher. And I recommend just in case when you actually fill in the roof, you might want to torch it up so at night mobs don't spawn on the thing and come and get you. Because that's not fun. 
let's just fill in the floor real quick. And because I've created a mode, I am going to cheat it. Fill negative four two zero five six because I think that's the bottom saying not. I'm not too sure I'm not good at commands. <laughs> it used to be good, but I haven't played this version of Minecraft in a little while. But thank you guys so much for your support. It really means a lot. I know I haven't posted a video in forever, but hopefully this does make up for it. Life has been busy with uh I'll just fill it with stone. Is that right? That looks right. Cool. Alright. There we go. So this is the floor platform. And we're gonna build all the way up to the top of that. Actually we're gonna build it to the top of this, so right. now you can see <laughs> we've almost filled in all of this so far, and it's been a whopping 20 seconds. I know it's going to take you longer than it's going to take me, but it's not that big of a deal. You guys will be able to do this. It, it literally just takes a little bit of grind time, and then you'll have it done. So now we have our box set up, right? And we are going to do big brain time. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. <laughs> So we moved it over one, so we have two, four, six, seven, right? Two, four, six, seven. So these are seven blocks apart. We're gonna just put signs right down the middle. I did it again. God dang it. Sa, perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant to do. Okay, so that looks like it doesn't fit, but it works. And now we break these. Break these, get our water bucket. And you can just fill all this in with water. And these things are just like a sweeper, and they push all the mobs to the middle. And you can do it all on this side. Oops, I don't want to do that one further. Definitely recommend some uh, enchanted boots with some depth strider to make that a little bit easier. So now our next move is we go underwater again. And I'm just going to clear all this water. And you're probably going to have to update the water up here, because sometimes it gets all messy, but we don't. Apparently it worked out. And so now you see this, we're going to go down two blocks. So when it get, they get pushed off, they're going to land on this block. And I recommend making this out of obsidian, just because you have uh, potential mobs that can blow this all up. And that is no fun. So I recommend putting that all down Thing. So you're just going to want to put a sign here again, block all this in, alright so now that we have that, you want to set up the killing area, which I recommend having this low enough that they can't just pop out, you know, and vacuum hopper, probably the best hopper for this, just because it uh, just allows you to do exactly what you want, and we need a slab, just gonna put a slab here, 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 and there. And I recommend lighting this up just so nothing spawns and destroys everything. Obviously, I want you guys to make this prettier, but I'm lazy <laughs> and pretty bad YouTuber, apparently. So, you got a hopper, you need a wooden extraction pipe, you're gonna need a pipe pulser. All this stuff is pretty easy to get. Uh, I recommend the gold transport pipes are just a little bit faster. Now what you want to do is you put an extraction pipe. Can I not? Hello? Oh, I wonder if he's... There we go. 
Okay, you want to go into your vacuum hopper, click the side that the thingy's on, that'll now put jingy the jingy, and then you put all your pipe pulsers on this, and if you pipe it, it'll pulse it exactly where you want it to go. So now if we get some chess, you have your choice in chess. You can hook this up to a storage system, however you want to do it. Obviously, you guys have your choice on how to do this. I have a better video on how to use these pipe pulsers, and I'll put that in the description. But, yeah, that's pretty much it if you want this farm. So what you do now is we go up to the top. You're going to want to break off all the torches. Get yourself some glass or any block of that sort. I think glass is better. And you want to put break off this top torch. Place glass to the roof so nothing will spawn on your spawners and just stay there. And with this one, you're just going to break that. Break that one and go up to the roof. And so now with the roof, we're going to fill this in. Boom, no mistakes made. All right, so now we can go down here. Look at this, right? So because I messed up with the water, now you got to update it, which you just place a block next to it and break it. And apparently you only need to do one. Now like this, you're ready to see the masterpiece at work. Gotta update these. And break that wall. Break that wall. All right. Obviously, you guys can make these farms prettier. And now that that's set up, you're gonna wanna put water in this side. Place some water on this side. And uh, they'll all be flushed to this. Let's get out a sword. Obviously, I recommend getting out an enchantment table. I'm not sure where it is. I have it saved over here somewhere. What enchantment table is it? Kind of search it up. Uh, it's that one. Advanced enchanting table, right? So you click this, you can put your sword in here. You can pick anything. I recommend. Oh! I recommend Smite, because you're killing undead, looting, sweeping edge, berserking, um, breaking. You just put all this on, right? XP boost. XP boost is definitely very useful if you want to kill a lot of things fast. Soul bound if you don't want to lose it when you die. Soul stealer kills things faster. Insight leech. Soul bound. You know, you can never go wrong. Look at that. We got OP sword, right? And we just whack away. And look at that. There's no items, which is a big problem with uh, all these. Because sometimes the items will just go wherever. But look at that. Look how beautiful it is, you see? And now if we go back to let's just see what it's like with a normal sword. Is it... Oh, so another problem. Or it's not really a problem, but it's just a side effect of this farm. Is in the top right, you see all those flashy things? The mobs will like give you things, and sometimes they'll teleport out, so you gotta be careful. There's not a lot you can do to make them not teleport out. Let's go into survival real quick. Does that work? Nope. He moves five. Alright, so you see him. He's a whack at me. You just get mad XP, dude. And you can pick your enchantments. If you guys add books, you get a discount. But yeah, as you can see, you get a bunch of stuff, dude. Uh, once again... If you guys want to know how to store your items better, I do have a video on that, and that will be linked in the description, because I know this is a piece of garbage, but I just wanted to get this video out here quick since I haven't made a good a video in a while. <laughs> so I forgot an extremely important step to this farm, and that is power. This is a death generator, which can be used to power the redstone furnace, and is compatible with a lot of different types of uh, power needed furnaces uh, I don't even know it just like pretty much anything that needs power can be powered by this industrial foregoing does not work however but like um, applied energetics thermal expansion 
Ender IO, these are all farms that can be powered by this. And just to show you, we have a redstone furnace, which is being powered through an aluminum wire. And uh, a problem has occurred. <laughs> but this death generator will actually give you death if you're not careful. So you need to have a bucket of milk if you do have death. Otherwise, you will be forced to die. And that has been this episode. I do hope that you have enjoyed. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.